Hey and welcome to Tutorial to You. My name is Yannick and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add register functionality to your ASP.NET Core applications. So I just created a brand new MVC application without any kind of identity, so no user accounts at all. Uh, it's also fine if you have a web application or whatever because this works for all ASP.NET applications. Now one very important thing to mention is that we have all the comments and the source code that you need for all the packages that are required etc on our blog article. You can find the link for that in the description below. So please if you want to follow along and copy over some codes and comments make sure to check out the article. It's really so much easier than just trying to copy everything from the screen what I'm writing at YouTube right. Now the very first thing that we need is a tool called ASP.NET Code Generator. So click on Tools, open up a new Git package, Package Manager Console, and now let's simply write down .NET tool install. We want to install it globally. So add the G flag .NET dash ASP.NET dash Code Generator. So again .NET tool install G .NET dash ASP.NET dash code generator. Now let's hit enter. And this tool basically allows us to generate code for various features in ASP.NET Core applications. Now I'm using .NET 7 right here. This is why the version 7 is installed. Okay, so next up we need to install some more packages. So I want to open up the NuGet packages for solution. And in total we have to install 6. So that takes a small amount of time let's go to browse install the sql server so microsoft entity framework core sql server so go ahead and install that now next up we got the tools so microsoft entity framework core tools right there you go if i just scroll up you can see this is for updating databases creating migrations and all of that so go ahead and install it then entity framework core design that's here, shared design time components, right? So go ahead and install it too. And now let's search for code generation dot design. This is also from Visual Studio. Let me just scroll up. Microsoft Visual Studio web code generation design. You can see code generation tool for ASP.NET Core. So this is something that we definitely need. And we also installed the code generation tool at the very beginning, right? So don't forget that this is what we need for the design components for controllers and views and all of that. Okay, so we're nearly done. Now we have to install some more packages for the identity. So search for identity.entityFrameworkCore. I know it's a lot of stuff, but it's a nice functionality, right? Registration of user accounts is very important. So that may not be optional, so just follow along. ASP.NET Core Identity Provider that uses Entity Framework Core, right? That makes sense now that we can generate controllers and all of that. And now we have that tool right here that provides the identity for ASP.NET Core. So go ahead and install it. And then we have to install one more for the user interface of that package or of that tool. And then we're uh, done with it. So identity, simply search for identity.ui. Scroll up, you can see ASP.NET Core Identity UI is the default Razor Pages built-in UI for the ASP.NET Core Identity Framework. So if we install this one, you have an easy time in setting up a registration page. You don't have to do it manually. It's just there out of the box. So you really want to install that one too. And then we're done now. So those are the packages that we need. But as I said, just installing some packages maybe takes five minutes, but developing all of that from scratch is nearly impossible. Let me show you our c -Sharp Progress Academy. It is a self-paced online video course that teaches you full stack c -Sharp, ASP.NET, Angular, unit testing, and even c -Sharp software design patterns with a 14-day money-back guarantee. And I'm absolutely sure that this is the best way on how you can progress as a c -Sharp developer. So go ahead, check out the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. And make sure to subscribe to our channel right now so that you no longer miss any upcoming ASP.NET videos. Now right click on your project, scroll to the very bottom and click on open in terminal. Now open it up, you can see right here, it opened the PowerShell, right? And now we will run or we'll execute a comment which is called .NET ASP.NET dash code generator identity dash DC. Now write down the application context. So my application dot data dot application db context 
then dash dash files. And now very important, write down account.register, which will fold out the correct element. So .NET, ASP.NET, dash code generator, identity, dash DC, my application, dot data, dot application DB context, dash dash files, and then as a string account.register. Now let's hit enter. And this will basically generate a new registration page inside of our areas folder. That one just got created, areas identity on the right side, right? And there you can see data. Here's an application DB context that just got created. And below that, we can find a folder called pages, account, and inside here, we will have a registration page now. And that's basically awesome. So running this comment basically just generated our entire registration feature. Now we have to modify that application DB context. So double click on it and open it up. Let me just close everything else here. Let me just zoom a little bit out. If you want to make any changes to your database structure, you can do that right here. Maybe you already have a database context, but that's not a problem. You can also use that one, but please see that we now inherit that DB context from identity DB context, which is using the identity user class. And that's basically, well, our user class. So if you register an account, it will be of type identity user. Now to make it finally work in, let's move to our program.cs. So scroll down and we need to register our razor pages because that's what identity uh, or the um, ASP.NET identity is based on. So inside of our builder services right here, you can see that we had at control that with views and below that we can say builder.services.addRazor pages. That's the first thing that we have to add. And if we now scroll down, you can see the app map controller route. And right before that, we are going to add app dot use endpoints where the endpoints goes to a new object endpoints dot map razor pages. Great. So we're nearly done. Last thing that we have to do is to move to our app settings.json right here and make sure that you have a connection string to your database right here, which is working fine for you. So that one automatically got created. He will create a new database for me. So since we added our um, NuGet package entity framework tools, we are able to run migrations. So open up tools, go to NuGet package manager, go to package manager console. Now let's simply create that database. So run update dash database. And you can see that he has created new columns. So if we just take a look at that, you can see he created the database, right? Let's create a migration. Let's say add my dash migration, right? And let's say added identity, for example, let's hit enter. That will create a new migration. So you can see if I just minimize that a little bit that he will create a new table for ASP.NET roles, for ASP.NET users, for ASP.NET role claims. So a lot of identity, uh, identity stuff going on. So let me just maximize that again. And let's again hit update database, which will execute all well, um, opened migrations. So that one that we have just created will now get executed. A lot of new tables will get created inside of our database and we are basically done. Let's just start our application. And if we now navigate to identity, slash account slash register, we should be able to see our registration page. Now let's try to set up an account here. There we go. If I now click on register, you can see that an account got created and I can now use it to log in. Okay, and that's it for this video. You now have added a registration functionality to your ASP.NET Core application from scratch. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss any upcoming ASP.NET videos. And definitely check out our C Sharp Progress Academy. It's your fastest way on how you can progress as a C Sharp developer.